in ages long forgotten. Light brought darkness for control of the world. Dark Dragon led the evil hordes of darkness. The ancients fought back with the powers of light. Dark Dragon was defeated and cast into another dimension. The Lord of Darkness vowed to return in 1,000 years. Time passed, and Dark Dragon was forgotten by all. Ten centuries of peace ruled the land of Rune. the kingdom of Runefaust brought war and fear to Rune. Hordes of evil creatures ravaged every land. Here and there, strongholds of good still held out, awaiting a hero who could wield the powers of the light. Hey there everyone, welcome to a brand new series I'm starting called Let's Retro, where I play games from a long era past. Whether it be, you know, classic consoles or even emulators such as emulators of Shining Force. This is a great and amazing game, I love it. Wow, Dark Dragon, Ancients, let's see now, what else does this old book say? Hmm. One thousand years have passed since they vanquished Dark Dragon, and the book says Dark Dragon threatened to return right about now. I bet anything that Dark Dragon is behind the evil hordes of Runefast. I need to tell someone about this, but who would listen to a kid like me? I think Dark Dragon's coming back. Will you help us? Come on, it'll be an adventure. Uh, oh. Did it... Did I actually keep my save files? Huh, cool. But no, we're starting a new one. Say, what shall I call you? So, I'm not gonna worry about that first save file because I was a recording and I did just a test and then for whatever reason it didn't want to let me load up the game. But now I can, I guess. So, we're going with Atum. Nice to meet you, Atum. I'm Simone. Come back often and tell me everything. You need to get going. Evil spreads farther across room with every passing day. Chapter 1, The Runefaust Invasion <clears throat> A tomb? A tomb! Come on, kid, wake up. I didn't hit you that hard. Keep your guard up, kid. Those beasts of Runefaust will tell you to pieces. Okay, that's enough for today. You better take it easy for a while. Alright, so, hello, Centaur Man. As I was saying, this game, as you saw in the the uh, copyright section in the very beginning of the title. It came out in 1993. I do not know what console it came out for because I fell in love with this game when I was about eight. I had gotten my first computer and one of the very first things that I bought for my computer was a CD that I had been eyeing on it. Like I had been eyeing for a while. It was at a Walmart. It was a Sega Mega Collection, which of course the Steam name is the same thing. It's the the Sega Mega Collection and Genesis Collection as an emulator. Comes with like 50 some games if you buy the $30 bundle. I only wanted four particular games from it. Kid Chameleon, Comic Zone, and then Shining Forces 1 and 2. Those are the only games I needed because I've played the original Sonic games over and over and over and I still love them to death, but they're not my main priority. These games, however, are fun and I've yet to beat them. So I was gonna, you know, enjoy the journey with you all. Well, a tomb had enough for a sword play for today? I don't know how you keep up after hour after hour. I'm dead tired after about 15 minutes. My dude, women ain't gonna like it if you can't hold it up for more than 15 minutes. <coughs> so, as we already talked to him, we can't go any further. Let's go back this way. You have the makings of a great fighter, Atum. You'll be tested soon enough. 
Lord Varios, the king has sent for you. You must come at once. Of course. Lead the way, guardsman. I fear the worst, Tatum. Prepare yourself for true battle immediately. So, that's Lord Varios' centaur. He's pretty cool. Did you see Lord Varios' face? He went pale. Something- oops, sorry about that. Something really big is happening. Let's split up and see if we can't find out what's going on. I'll see you later. So, as a kid, I never actually got to beat this game. Like, I- it, it was just beyond my scope of understanding. I was like, eight. I- like, video games at that time to me were just playing Pokemon. I had never played something like this. This is closer to Final Fantasy than anything. Hello, Atum. I've been hearing- I've been having the worst nightmares. Have you had any? Yes. I bet they're the same ones I've been having. I saw our land in ruins. Evil creatures roamed our halls. It seems so real. But yeah, so this game is absolutely lovely. I love the music. I love the artwork style. I don't know what it is about old school 8-bit games like these. I, actually, this wouldn't be, really be considered 8-bit, would it? I'm not really sure, technically, on the definition on that one. But old school games like this, like the over-the-top, going on this grand adventure, like, they're, like the first two Legends of Zeldas, the first two were great. Those are the types of games that I like. And I love these. This is great. It has this overarching story. It's you know, filled with demons and things that can destroy the kingdom. <clears throat> that is the story, Lord Varios. Hmm. Then, Your Majesty, we have no choice but to send a tomb, a young fighter. I gave them the same voice. I gotta fix that for the next one. Oh, a tomb. Good. I was going to go look for you. First, listen to the king. I might, I might give the king something a little bit more regal, I guess. For centuries, our people have watched the gates of the ancients as its guardians. Beyond that gate lies what we know not. Wait, lies we know not what? Not even if it is the light or the darkness. But the ancients knew, and they sealed it beyond the gate and set us as guards. And now we find that we may have failed in our mission, our reason for existence. Signs have been seen that the forces of Runefaust are at the gates of the ancients. Jesus Christ, let's call them ancestors. Whatever evil they are planning, we must stop it at all costs and at once. But we must not panic the people. A small group of young but skilled warriors. Yes, he could do it. He could leave town unnoticed and have a chance to succeed, perhaps. Yes, Nova, I agree. Atum, will you take the task? Oh, wait, that was a virus. That's the king. Whoops. Uh, yes. Very well. Now return to town and gather your troops. Come back when you're ready. So these games are very straightforward. It's usually just, you know, go out, slay some demons, come back, rinse, repeat. Not usually too much to do there. Oh, hey. Wait, a tomb. Nova sent us. We're going with you. I am Luke, the warrior. Ken the knight, at your service, a tomb. I'll follow you wherever you lead. I am Tao. I'm only an apprentice mage, but I'll do my best. I'm Hans, an elven archer. I'm coming, but don't put me in the front lines, okay? Luke, Ken, Tao, and Hans join the Shining Force. Meet us at headquarters back in the castle. I don't even know what voice I gave you earlier. Hey, Atum, don't try and sneak out of town without me. Lo joins the Shining Force. So, we've got one of basically most of the major classes. Now that you have your comrades, return to the king and to hear his final commands. I'll follow your progress and offer advice as you face the vile horrors of Runefaust. Well, that's settled. See you at headquarters. <sighs> uh, I'll, I'll eventually get good at keeping track of whose voice is who in my head. But, uh, yeah. It, it, it's, I'm not good at that. Let's talk to the king. You have your troops, but you need supplies. Take this and purchase what you need. I got 100 points. Sweet. A cart will take you to the gate of the ancients. Now, go and carry out your task. I read that so terribly. Holy moly. Alright, don't mind me, guys. Alright, so let's go this way. We can buy stuff in here, I think. Yep. Now, I can talk to him because the boss is apparently mad. I don't know why. What would you like? Angel wings. No. Thank you. Do come again. I want to buy weapons. That's what I want to buy. Don't mind the boss. 
All right, buy, repair, deals, and sell. No deals. No deals today. Okay, bye. Where is the weapon shop? There's got to be a weapon shop. Okay, that's an inn. Uh... Keep in mind, I have not played this game in a very long time. Like, easily. I want to say I was eight. I could have been younger. I could have been like maybe six or even five. But I know I was ridiculously young. It was, like I said, my first computer. Comic Zone used to give me nightmares, but I loved the game. Because like I used to imagine myself getting thrown into the comic. And I was like, you know what? This would be horrifying. It's a great game. And it was too difficult for me at the time to actually play the game. I wasn't good at him, like at the games. So I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, I'm just gonna die, and this, that, and the other thing, and if that was the case, I used to die a lot in those games, it was frustrating. What's in here? You, who's on my way? Hey, cut that out, you can't just push your way in here, get out! Let me through. Huh? Let me through, man. Huh? You said huh? Fine. Hide? I don't know if I care, but... That's a thing. Just more centaur people. Oh, uh, what's back here? Who are you? A great view from the top of the tower. You can see forever. Let's see, old man. How high is this tower? Go? Other old man. Oh my! What a lovely view. Can you let me see? Who are you, wizard man? Yes, it is an interesting tower, isn't it? So much to see and do. Who are you? Nothing is unusual. Okay. Well, I guess we're losing this tower. There's gotta be someone I can talk to. Why you? Why couldn't I lead the Shining Force? Arr! Dude, come back. I wanna talk to you. Angry Horseman. Is that you? You guys angry horse man? No one's in that I know. It's a turn. What's that, troops? I can't hear you! Louder! Sir, yes, sir. Okay, I'll send something. I want to talk to the angry horse man. Is that the angry horse man? I'm assuming that's the angry horse man. Where did I buy what? It's gotta be something. We're all doomed, I tell you, doomed. Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence, my guy. Take care of him. There's more danger out here than you expect, which I've heard. Okay. Alright, you know what? I think that's enough messing around here. We're just gonna talk to the king. If I'm not wrong. There we go. Good luck, Atu. You must succeed, or our guardian, or guardiana, will fall. The guardiana is the name of the town, by the way. So here's the cool thing. The first chapter is just a very simple battle, but it can knock you out real quick. Now here's what sucks. This game doesn't give you any kind of tutorial. I mean, it's cool, because you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, I gotta sit there and deal with the basic enemies, battle them 17 times before I learn the lesson, and this, that, and the other. It just throws you in. A tomb! Goblins! Moonfaust must be up to something! We can take them, a tomb! Move it, Furman! Find the key to this blasted door! Come on, we're almost in! Where's that blasted key? What? Blast it! Those fools are here from Guardiana! Blast it! It's an earthquake! Blast it all! <laughs> Attack goblins and dwarves! Strike a blow for the honor of Rune Faust! That's a rune knight, and those are the dark dwarves. So. Here's the thing, you move, I'm playing on the PC, so it might be different if you're playing with a controller. Up, down, left, right is how you move the character. You press A to solidify your command, and you do stuff like this, stay, and it's just turn-based after that. I don't know how it determines whose turn is next, I wish I knew. I'll probably find out, it'll probably be in the comments, or also possibly in the video itself, in the, you know, 
post edits. But one thing I do remember from my practice playthrough that actually destroyed me was the fact that if your main character dies, the person that you name is, is whatever you name it. So in my case, Toon. If he dies, it's game over. Everyone else can die. If Toon dies, it's 100% game over. Like, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. Over. That's done. And that, that's the only thing I don't like about this game. Because sometimes they will gun it for that character. Alright, so we're going to do this. But yeah, each character class, at least from what I've seen so far, attacks her with their own weapon. Ooh, wow, deadly. So I just critted him and he died. Instantly. But every action that you take has that little battle screen that you just saw. Uh, you can't reach him, I think. No, I think so. You gotta go one square up. Which is a problem, because you can't hit anybody else. But yeah, so as you saw, everyone has their own particular attack pattern. Like the archer has the weird one where you can only attack people that are two squares away or in a diagonal form. Which I don't like. That. I hate the archer's attack pattern. It makes him feel like one of the most useless archers in the world to me anyway, because he can't attack people that are right in front of him. He's like always taking like long shots. But that's why you have people like Luke and, you know, in my case, the tomb, the sword and the axe. And then you have your mage who can attack slightly at a distance with spells. So I'm gonna use blade and burn this guy to a crisp. But this is the kind of stuff you do with this game where you can actually attack people from a distance or have them hang back. Now you see, with a tomb in his case, I want him to hang back because if he dies, it's game over. It doesn't matter who's left. It's not like this guy where, you know, if Killia dies, oh well, you know, you just lost Killia, that's it. You see, he can only attack either diagonal or two, two units away from him. I don't like this. That, that's the only thing I don't like. Goblin is defeated and they're getting HP. Now as I was saying, and I'm sure you've already noticed, you gain HP for every action you do. It doesn't have to kill them. So, another fun thing that I also remembered from my practice run is, even if I were to lose and then just come back, like, let's say I die, a tomb dies right here, it's game over, I can go right back to the rest of the battle, but I keep the levels and the XP that I've already gained. So, one good way to, you know, practice or quote-unquote farm would just be just going in anyway. You don't really lose anything if you die, but well, guess what? You just... Keep going and you do it again. It's not like other games where it's like, oh, that unit died, and then you know you lose all the HP that you gained earlier. You know, that's cool, guys. You don't. You just keep going and you just power it up that way. It's like right here, I'm sure Tao's gonna die and it's gonna suck. Yep, there goes Tao. Rip, Tao can no longer fight. So I just lost my fire mage, which actually sucks. See, the scary unit for me is that room knight. He hurts. A lot. He, he used to cause me a lot of frustration when I was playing this myself as a kid. Because I didn't understand how the game worked. I didn't know the mechanics behind it. I still don't understand all the mechanics behind it. But, I like the game anyway. Like, I don't know what land effect does. I don't know if it makes me stronger or weaker. Or, you know, if it slows me down or speeds me up or anything like that. I do know every once in a while I feel like twice if I'm lucky. I'll learn that stuff, and by next episode, I'll probably be a master of this game. But, it is honestly a fun game. I like the story behind it, at least from what I remember. Like, I know, I'm not going to spoil it, but after this, there's going to be a huge battle. And it, it's very Final Fantasy-esque, but it's it's like vintage Final Fantasy. Not like Final Fantasy uh, 7, where it's like, oh, hey, you know, the planet's getting destroyed, and you got to go cover your own history and all that stuff. It, it's very simple. It is, hey, prophecy foretold of this guy coming back. He's coming back. Fight him. Win. That's it. That's the that, That's it. Story is, story is that simple. It's, it's a very simple but very fun story. At least to me. Anyway. I like the whole fantasy setting. Very quote unquote D&D-esque type of story. Where it's just, hey, you know, you're going through this world and you're sort of experiencing everything for the first time kind of thing. Okay, goblins. There's too many of you. I hate all you goblins. I'm gonna kill all you goblins. This place smells like goblins. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut your head off, goblin. Filthy lying goblin. I'm gonna be the goblin slayer. 
Look at that. Level 2. Let's go. Attack by 1, defense by 1, speed by 1. Maximum MP. Increase by 1. Okay. Cool beans. But yeah. Uh, could you tell I've been watching a little bit too much goblins there bridged? Filthy goblin. Oh, you're a dwarf, you say. No, you're not. You smell like goblin. You're filthy like goblin. Goblins are wiped off the face of the earth. Goblin. Luke, come on, be useful, man. Oh. Ooh, look at it. Hmm. I'm gonna do this, I, I can't have a tune back. What do you have? Regress. No. That's a spell that late that makes you run away. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I shouldn't have put him there, though. Oh, okay. Back to Han's here. Dark Dwarf. You fused the Dark God. And the Dark Dwarf is defeated. Alright, Hans is now level 2. Nice. Whoosh. I love their death animations. It's so fun. Alright, so I'm gonna put you here. Attack the Rune Knight for 1 damage, so I'm sure you're gonna do absolutely nothing. Bonk. Oh, 2 damage. Low gain 60 HP. I'll take it. I'm gonna surround this dude. I'm not letting him move. Take that, Goblin. I'm blocking you. You can't go that way. You can only go that way. Oh, low is probably bad. Ooh, one shot, Jesus. See, this is why I didn't like the Rune Knight back in the day. My dude could hit hard. Just lives. Alright, Hans, this is it. This is your oh, okay, never mind. It's Ken. Ken, you got this. See, now what sucks is, unlike Final Fantasy, you can't rename the characters as far as I know. So I'm kind of stuck with, you know, Ken, Lo, Tao, and those other weird names. I would like to name them whatever I wanted. Fools. You have won here. But Lord Kane of Runefaust is even now is attacking Guardiana. Boom. No, our hometown. If that creature spoke truly, we must return to help defend Guardiana. Okay. Uh, let's just use egress. But nothing happens. Okay. Nothing is found. Can I talk to you guys? No target. So I can't attack. I just gotta. Uh, I'm I'm discovering some stuff as I go out. Earthquake blocked the road. Head north, but be ready for battle. No one enters Guardiana while we live. For Dark Soul. Death to Guardiana. Death to Guardiana. Okay. This people crying for death to Guardiana. Yep, I know. It's blocked. I don't care. See, here's what I need to do, though. I need to egress on out of here. Do, 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 do. I love that this game has an overworld and everything. Alright. We're gonna use some magic here. Egress right on up out of here. Thank you. Let's talk to you. Strange things are in the woods. They gave me the creeps. Can I heal? No one is in that direction. Okay, can't talk to the men. Well, what a surprise! We rarely do have guests in such a remote area. I am a friar, though I may not look it. How can I help you? Uh. Grace? Let's see, just who needs my help. Oh, Tao is in bad shape. I'll see if I can help. I can revive Tao, but it'll cost 10 coins. Sure. Thank you, friar. You're gonna be friar tuck from now on. Tao has revived. Oh my, Lo is in bad shape. 10 more coins. Lo has also revived. Can I help in some other way? Yes. Cure. Let's see who just needs some help. No one's poisoned, no one's cursed. Can I help in some other way? Yes. Which promote do? I'm sorry, but no one has earned a promotion. Yes, we're gonna save. Yes.
Will you continue? Yeah, let's continue along a little bit. May the power of the lights always be with you. Alright, but who's this man? I am gone. I have fought the evil of Roomfouse for many years. I will aid you. And now we just have Gong. Okay. I will join your troops. Okay, Gong. Bye. Uh, that's it. To what? Greetings, Atum. I have been waiting for you. For what? For what? Dogman. Man dog. Gopher. Nothing is in you. This whole gopher night is weird. Dude, what are you waiting for? You gonna, you gonna do something? I guess not. Okay. Alright, so now we got Gong. The earthquake has blocked the road. Yep, 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 yep. No one enters. Death to Guardiana. Death to Guardiana. Alright, so... I'll get us back into town. And I think that'll be the end of the episode. Because this next part is going to take a little bit. Because I gotta... I, I gotta... Walk a lot. So, if anything, what I'll do is I'll fast forward while I'm doing this. Because, as much as I love this game, I also don't want to bore you guys to death with needless little things like, you know, walking through this and having crappy walking speeds. Because you can only walk three or four squares at a time. And then, you know, you have people automatically defaulted to blocking out your access. So, like, look at this. I have to funnel my people through here, and then I can't do anything because. I can only move so far. This isn't like this guy. That's the one thing I like about this guy more than this game. You know, for the whole turn-based RPG combat thing, at least I get a base panel and I get to, you know, determine who goes where when. But look at this. I can't even control my other guys yet. I have to wait for them to move up so I can move the rest of my units up. Look, I can't move her. She has to stay there because, you know, Gong and Hans are blocking the way. Can't move you yet because Gong and Hans are still blocking the way. Alright, gone, gone. Hans is moved. Hans can attack. Alright. Ready to start. Still not dead. That's the one thing I don't like about this particular section of the game. I think this part bored me the most when I was going through it. Then again, I only made it to like game chapter 2. I probably didn't even make it that far. Oh, look. Now we got pe more people blocking me. I can't move you because the tomb is now blocking me. So, the, the whole lack of movement hurts this game. At least for me, anyway. Because, like, look at this. Look at how far those doors can move. Those doors can go far. And so then there's 50 goblins. But I can't do anything about it. So, like, now I gotta move you one by one by one. Right, you can attack. And fire! You attack again. Hans just can't see it. Okay. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this this part right here so much. Right, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to fast forward because this is this is gonna take way too long.
All right, guys, we're finally at the last Dark Dwarf. Like, as you saw, I don't know if you saw it, you know, not forwarding through it. But it, it, this can take quite a while. Oh, no, I can't be there. That's not what I wanted. But either way, uh, I actually might cut off this episode here just because, you know, we did the whole first part of the story. I didn't think this was actually going to take this long. I've been sitting here for about, I want to say, 20, 25 minutes. Just this last segment of making it past the mountains, putting off everybody that's here, all that other good stuff. That was all the last 20 minutes. And you guys get to fast forward through it. I don't. I have to live this. This sucks sometimes. Like, yikes. I wish I'd get lucky. I've had, so far in all these attacks, I've had one time where my character attacked me. One time. I think it was Hans that did it. I wasn't even paying attention, but it was nice. It did some good damage. Thank you, Atun, with that sick damage. You defeated the goblin. But, uh, yeah, that takes care of that. Jesus. All right. Well done, Shining Force. Now, enter Guardiana and find out what's happened there. So, so here's the cool thing. I can explore this whenever I want. I can just walk away. So, this is this place. I don't know what's up here. Who are you? Go back to wherever you came from. Okay, bye. You see, like, you can just open world. There's, there's no mobs to fight up here, as far as I know. Okay, can I go this way? Is there anything out here? Doesn't let me go that way. But yeah, so, this is what the open world looks like. Let's find out what happened to town. You made it back. You're a little late. We were almost overrun by Runefaust. We held them off, but we suffered greatly, as you'll see as you wander around. Most of our knights were lost in the battle. Many homes were damaged, but we held. We'll keep watch here. Moonfaust is bound to attack again sooner or later. Alright. Woof. Yikes, my guy. Your your whole neighborhood is just gone. Can I talk to you? Praise the light that it's over. Monsters fighting. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, I'm just go out the door. Even though you don't have a door anymore. <laughs> you can just walk around this guy. Okay, turn, turn, thank you. We almost lost. I still don't know why they pulled back. <gasps> no, the doggo. Where's the, where's the family with the doggo? Where's the, oh, okay, doggo's okay. Those beasts still have nightmares forever. Doggo. Oh, poor doggo. I think I, like, maybe ran past them at one point while I was talking earlier. Where are you? I sent my family away, but I stayed and fought. Nice. Who are you? I wanted to fight, but my legs were shaking so hard I got dizzy and passed out. Yikes. How's your town now? Welcome, Atum. Those vile rune Fausts have made me mad. I have weapons guaranteed to knock those monsters head off. Take a look. Awesome. This is where I buy weapons. Short sword, the spear, the hand axe, wooden staff, and the wooden arrow. Uh, I don't know who's what, but I'll come back and I'll buy stuff. Oh man, that, that dude is. Is his eye bleeding or his head? Their commander, Cain of Runefaust. Evil to the core. My dude, looking banged up pretty hard. You. You know, that little fracas made me want to fight again. A tomb, I'm joining up. Okay. Gort has joined the Shining Force. So if you talk to him earlier, he just tells you about, you know, old stuff he's done before. I'll be at headquarters. Like, he'll tell you about his past and other stuff, but it's not really important. You talk to him now, and he joins your party. Let me just avoid that. Oh no, the king. Oh, there's a frog outside my window. Wow, you guys are just licking your wounds there. Hurry, Atu! Cain of Runefaust has injured the king and Lord Varios. Oh snap, what? Go away, Cain. Wait, huh? <coughs> Go away, Cain. I don't understand what you're talking about. Anyway, the treasure of Guardiana is in my hand now. I won't let you take that. Just leave. Sword of Darkness, show me your power. Varios dies. Oh, Varios had a daughter. Lady Varios, chill. 
Now, Guardiana is unworthy of my attention. Farewell, fools. A tomb, look into the king. A tomb. May. I don't think I'll live much longer. Dovarios, Dovarios protect me. Listen. The gate of the ancients is the only access to the tower, and the gate can be opened only by the key. You must find it before it falls into the hands of evil. You should never let them open the gate. Find out why Runefaust is interested in the gate, please. May, daughter of the great Varios, help the tomb. Avenge your father, and be strong. Your Majesty, please tell my daughter, Anri in Ma Manarino, to stay strong for her people. The king dies. Now is not the time for tears or grief. Alteron should be our next goal. The tomb! Let's go find that key. I don't want to see any more of these tragedies. May has joined the Shining Force. I'll await you at headquarters. Be quick. No one is in that direction. Yeah, no. No duh. I want, I want to search. Okay. But that takes care of everything for Shining Force today, everyone. I hope you had a great time. If you like this, you know, this new series that I'm setting up, Let's Retro, as I'm going to call it, hit me up, you know, show me that, you know, that you actually like it by hitting that like button, leave a comment, let me know what games you enjoyed when you were a kid, or, you know, games that you might think that I might enjoy playing for the channel. Just let me know. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Go ahead and hit that notification bell, that way you know whenever I drop a new episode. So, outside of that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Retro, Shining Force.